Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create amazing charts in SharePoint using list view and column formatting. Check this out! How cool is this? And all you need to do is just a SharePoint list. Let's get started. Here I am in SharePoint. Let me start to show you the final result of this cool implementation. What I have here, it's just a normal SharePoint page in edit mode. This is because I would like to focus on the fact that I added here in this one column in the body, a normal list web part. Now that I have this list view web part added, I can update the page. And as you can see here, I have some value. I have just one element, just one item in this list. And I have uh, many, many columns. Now, let me show you how you can turn this normal list in a chart. So clicking on the dropdown of items, I added a couple of views, chart view and pie. So clicking on chart view, I have now this final and gorgeous effect. Can you believe that this is a normal SharePoint list? Using column and view formatting, you are able to implement such charts. Very, very cool. Another useful functionality, which is out from a while now, is the ability to edit inline every column of this list item. It means here that I can manipulate the title by just by clicking on the title on this field I am able to say July for example clicking outside now I have the title that displays correctly with my fix with my change this is very cool I can change other parameters like this one or this other one or I can change the name of this column it's very very cool now there are many other charts that we can implement here. Let me switch now in another pie. It's the same, but the value are not visible in this variant of the donut. All right. Now that we have seen the final effect, which is incredible, I would like to show you from an end user perspective how you will see this, this chart. Basically, you will see the same, uh, the same view, except the fact that the user will be not able to edit this, this view. All right, let me jump in another browser and let me go on the same website where I was. Let me go on this specific page. And now let me open this page with another user. I'm impersonating now a different user, Diego Siciliani. All right, now I am logged in as Diego Siciliani. I have this list visible. I can't edit this, this list. I can just view this list. And now if I change the view here, if I switch in chart view, I have the same view that we have seen before, except the fact that there's no edit functionality here because the user has just read access to this SharePoint site. All right, it's time now to show you how you can implement this kind of charts. I am now in the page, in the web page of Microsoft Adoption. This is the solution that I'm talking about, custom charts. Thanks and credits to this user, Federico Sapia, that has implemented this kind of solution in SharePoint making it for free for everybody so everybody in the community can enjoy this kind of solution and the good thing is that this solution is stored on github if i jump on github i can show you now this solution better how it looks it's very important that you have to know that you can contribute here everybody here in the community can bring more value to this such implementation adding additional charts or modifying existing charts and this will be shared with everybody on github so here we have an overview of how many charts are implemented right now we have six charts 
And down below, we have a description, a very nice job made by Federico in documenting this solution. You can see also what has been tested here. So the, the web part, the list web part has been tested in the, in the one column, one third left and one third right. So down below, you can see additional information. How does it work? It's very well documented. I'm going to show you now step by step how you can implement just one shard, but it is the same story for every shard. But then I will not spend more time because you can find all information needed here. Now, let me just scroll a little bit down. You have also a bit of information about every single chart. Donut, pie, bar, bar horizontal, staked bars, line chart. And then you have, you can jump on the single chart if you want. I already implemented this, uh, this uh, chart. We have seen before in up and running in a SharePoint page as a list web part. But here you can find the single JSON. Let me click on this one, for example, bar chart, horizontal. And here we have the JSON that you can copy and paste it on your SharePoint list. Now, what I noticed here is that you can find a specific field name, for example, this one, value one. Now, if you create manually the list, which takes more time, of course, you can use exact, exactly these kind of column names. But if you follow another approach, which is importing an existing Excel, which is shared by Federico on this page, then you will notice that you will not have the same field name, but you have to rework by changing the name on the JSON file. All right, this is the link where you can find the Excel file. If you click here, you can download the file Excel and then I'm going to show you right now how you can do it. You can do this. All right, let's start to play with this kind of implementation and let's start to implement. I already implemented, as I mentioned, at the donut chart. It's time to play with another one. For example, I can implement the staked bar, which looks pretty nice and let's see how it looks I will use the same list then I will start to to import Excel or let me let me start from scratch I don't want to reuse an existing list I'm going to download the Excel file I'm going to import the Excel file and then I'm going to apply this list view all right first of all let me start to download the Excel file let me click on the link and this is where is stored the file you can easily download if you go on this little icon in the on the right all right let me click on it let me see i have now this stored in downloads now i'm going uh, to open sharepoint because i want to create a new sharepoint list let me go in the home page so by clicking on the new button i will have the full options on this panel now let's click on list and then i'm going to import my file excel that i have under downloads staked bars chart let me click on open and now like for magic i have now this new list available i have single line of test normally you have the right the right column type single line of text number number it's it looks pretty nice i have single line, line of text for all others let me see if we have some specific suggestion coming from this kind of staked bar chart here we go but it looks nice i don't have any specific uh, information related to the column type sometimes you can find also this kind of suggestion coming by by Federico which is pretty nice so you can double check if you have the right column type assigned all right now that I have my list created and up and running I can click on the next button I will keep the name as is take it 
bars chart it's fine let's click on create now the list will be created and once we are on the page on the on this list i would like to double check immediately the column name so let me go on list settings and now we can see label one but the name is not the internal name of this column is not unfortunately labeled one in the json file we have this kind of reference label one so then will not work i open it now this column label one and on top in the url you can see the real name of this column the internal name which is field underscore two this means that for our list view column formatting in our JSON, we have to use exactly this internal column name. All right, now I can close this tab and I can jump back so I can start the creation of this new list. All right, let me click on the drop down here on all items and now I'm going to create a new view. This would be a normal list and it is a staked parse. Then let's click on create and now I created this new default, this new list view. Let me make it as default and then let me click again on it and let me click on format current view. Next thing to do is to apply the JSON to make this list displaying as a chart. All right, now I click on advanced, I have this editor and here I can paste my JSON. So let me go back now on this specific list view, which was the staked bar and here we go, it is this one. So if I go on the left, sorry, I can see the staked bars. There is also the large version. Let's apply this one. All right, let me copy now this, this sample, this JSON, and let me go back to my list. Now I can pass them this, this list. As I mentioned before, we can see now this uh, internal name, which is not the same of our current list. So what I need to do now is just uh, replace, find and replace all fields. I'm going to speed up this because I don't want to make this video boring. So I'm going to replace very quickly this uh, field name and then uh, we will see immediately this chart in action. All right, I replaced every column name with the right one, with the right internal name of my list. So it means that I passed now this JSON, I can preview or I can save. Let me save also this list view, but this is what is our final result. It's pretty cool. I have the edit inline functionality which is always good and uh, all you need to do is just to add this property inline edit field and then you have to provide the name of the field that it's gonna be targeted for you when you make some change but this is how you can implement a chart in a SharePoint page or just in a normal SharePoint list so last thing that I would like to call out here is the ability to add the list web part on a single page. Let me go on the home page of my SharePoint site here. And what I have here in the feed of for Viva Connections is a new news. If I open this page, I have now a normal SharePoint page. And what I have here, it's a list view web part. So if I edit the page, I have this list view web part, I can add an additional one, a list for example, and let me target the new one that I added, which is staked bars charts. Here we go. This is by default, the list view displayed, and I have immediately this ch chart already displayed. I can target here the chart view if I want, and then I can make it as default view. And when I update this SharePoint site, I'm going to have this list view available by default all right if you enjoyed this video as always please consider to subscribe like and add a comment down below let me know what do you think about this cool and amazing feature all right i hope to see you next time bye